I've always had two goals in life. Two that I always thought were separate and that I couldn't do simultaneously. After a year and a half out of university and sleeping on couches, I was able to make one happen. But after six months of this, I decided to put that on pause so I can chase after the other one. Then I realized I missed the first one, then the other one, and then again, and again, and again. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to the Quarantine Department series from here in New York City. <sighs> now, I don't think I've ever opened up about this on the channel, but for those of you who are longtime subscribers, you've probably noticed that I've moved now like five times within the past three or three and a half years. And the reason is because I love traveling so much and I love living in New York City so much, but I never thought that I could do the two simultaneously. <laughs> So what I would do was travel for a few months and then come back home to New York, find an apartment with a three month lease and then go travel again and then just keep repeating that cycle. It was okay, I'm glad I did it that way, but it totally sucked trying to move that many times, getting my stuff out of storage, putting them in Ubers and then moving to new apartments. Moving in any big city I just think is extremely stressful. But for now, a couple years later, I've figured out the most optimal way for it to make sense to travel and also keep an apartment here in New York. If you guys saw my previous video, if not, you can check it out by clicking the link down below where I give an apartment tour of my place. But you'd see that I have a relatively spacious apartment with two floors, even a private backyard, but there is five of us as roommates. But with having this many roommates, I'm able to pay under $1,500 a month for a place in Manhattan, which is considered a steal. So it cuts my costs with rent, Wi-Fi, electricity tremendously where I'm able to save up more and have extra disposable income, so to speak. And last year I was gone for about six months, so it makes it a lot less strenuous when I am traveling that I'm not paying for a high rise luxury apartment when I'm not even there for half of the year. Last year for also six months, I did have a private studio office in downtown Manhattan. And I remember I went on a few trips, went to Puerto Rico and went to Greece. And I still had to pay for both my apartment and for the studio and not being there for those months just like kind of killed me inside just seeing all that money go to waste. So just cutting my costs and rents as much as possible now just so I can continue to travel and still have my place here in New York. Now you can say, Brett, why don't you just Airbnb your apartment while you're traveling? Well, my roommates and I, we do have this agreement where we're not going to rent out our rooms while we are gone since this place feels like such a good home and we don't want to feel like a hotel with random people coming in and out. But if you do have a situation where you can rent out your room on Airbnb, Craigslist, find a friend, then you could even make a profit while you are traveling, renting out your room. So definitely an option to consider. Another thing is I've gotten super lucky where I've been able to create a business out of traveling and also my life here in New York City with this YouTube channel. And one of the main reasons I wanted to make this YouTube video in particular is because I know Brett three years ago would greatly appreciate all these insights. So if you're a Brett three years ago, hopefully you can learn from this. Since whether you want to live in your dream city or you want to travel or even do both, I feel like there's always a way to figure it out. And the first thing that I would recommend is trying to find a specific job that does fit your unique desires. For me and my channel, it does make perfect sense where I pay to live here in New York City while I am traveling since that is my brand. A guy who lives in New York and travels a lot. And to be completely transparent with you guys, with living here in New York, I've been able to have more opportunities, which leads to earn more of an income. Whether it is filming videos and the brand wants it filmed here in New York, or even a lot of the times I'll do jobs where brands just want me to go to their event to post stories about it. And living here in New York where there are a lot of these events and brands are dumping a lot of money into them, I don't think I'd be able to do that in not a big city like New York. And I think all of this does correlate back to any job in particular where if you do live in a big city that you typically earn a larger income. I know Business Insider posted an article that said that 30% of New York City jobs pay annually $100,000 a year. So the cost may be higher, but at least you're getting paid more to balance it out, hopefully. Then as far as traveling, it sometimes is a risk where I will front the money and fly out myself and also an assistant and pay for Airbnbs, ferries, and food. But a lot of my travel videos are my most popular videos and I am still able to make a profit. 
Another tip is anyone can sign up for Airbnb's affiliate. If you click the link down below and just sign up for Airbnb, when you do stay at a place, I'll get 20 or $30 credits. So if you do want to click the link below, try out Airbnb, it definitely would help this channel out a lot. I did want to mention as well that a lot of the jobs that I do get require me to travel whether that was for a tourism board or airline, as well as sometimes I can even choose the destination. Last year, I did a job with Samsung for their new phone and I could have filmed it anywhere, but I thought it would be best and fun to spend nearly half the budget for myself and Gabe to go to the Philippines. And instead of making just that one video, I made six and they did really well for me and it totally paid off. Especially since any expenses that I do have towards traveling, whether it's flights, food, or even a portion of my rent, since this is technically my home office, I'm able to write off. Excuse me, Mr. Brent, what does this mean? That it is free money? Nah, ciao, it just means that I'm able to deduct more from my gross income and pay less taxes. Ah, I still don't understand. <sighs> Business with Brett. Yeah! yeah. Okay, now general chow to make this easy, let's say your gross income for the year is $100,000 before you pay taxes. But now we get to deduct all the expenses that went into earning this. So let's say we spent $20,000 on flights, $15,000 on office and rent, $3,000 on coffee and bubble tea meetings. What could that be? Thank you very much. Yeah, if we're trying to be realistic, probably. And then let's say maybe I spent another $5,000 on camera gear. So now instead of paying taxes on your gross income of $100,000, we take all of our expenses right here, we get our net, which is in this case $55,000. And this is what you're paying taxes on instead of the $100,000 since you have to deduct everything that went into the business. So General Child, technically the lower your net income is and the more expenses you have towards your business, the better off that you'll be. Comprendo? Yes, that is marvelous, Mr. Brett. I totally understand. Not a problem, Chowie. I still have no clue what Mr. Brett is talking about. Chow, I heard that. Do you need me to feed you more RAM again? I also wanted to say that the best way to support your favorite YouTuber is typically through merch or through affiliate links. For myself, definitely when you guys do support my clothing company Fortune, it does mean a lot and helps me reinvest into these videos and just keep stepping up my production level. So a huge thanks to everyone who does support Fortune and myself, it, it definitely does not go unnoticed. As well as with affiliate links, I personally use Epidemic Sounds and I think it is the best place for all YouTube creators and video makers in general to get their music. And if you click the link down below, that's my affiliate link and I get a decent commission if you guys just do the 30 day free trial. So if you wanna give it a try and click that link down below, it definitely is greatly, greatly appreciated. Before I end this video, I wanted to include how much credit I do owe to living in New York City from the energy and inspiration it gives me on a daily basis to all the amazing people who live here. It all makes the expensive rents worth every single penny. So I hope you guys enjoyed another one of these stay at home quarantine vlogs. And I also hope that you and your families are staying safe, staying at home and staying healthy during these crazy times. And just remember the more that we act now, the sooner that we'll be able to get back to our normal lives and you won't have to watch me film solely here in my apartment. But that's gonna be it for this video and I will see you guys next week. That's where you were. <laughs>